What's up guys? We're back. It's Friday and so you know- Ryan, I, I feel like something's missing. I I've really been missing a lot of credibility. I know. Ooh, he's wearing a white lab coat. He's gotta know what he's talking about. It's Friday and so you know what time it is. It's time for What the Fitness. Look at that. Oh, no felt so gassy. It's totally his stomach, too. Hey, get me out of here. What, what do you mean I stink? Oh, man, I gotta sleep in here tonight. Hmm. What's going on with this? The biggest mistakes I've ever seen people do is actually drink whey protein. Oh. Unfortunately, the fitness industry is kind of built and rides on that. Yeah, it's great for building muscle, but I've never met anyone who didn't get leaner and look better and feel better without it. So here are a couple things that I see that whey protein can cause issues with. Number one, inflames the digestive system, making it leaky and causing more bloating and gassing in the midsection. Number two, a film of mucus, fluid, and extra body fat overall in the body and the midsection. And painful cycles and periods. But don't worry, next is whey protein alternatives. Oh, wait. He's probably selling something, my guess. All right. So let's take that first. So he's basically saying, what were the claims? Whey protein is going to bloat you. He never met anybody who didn't get leaner without it and it inflames your digestive system. He would've been better off showing a whey protein concentrate if he wanted to make this argument. His argument's pretty crap. Well, his argument was crap already, but it's really crap now. Uh, there are some folks, especially those who are lactose intolerant, who cannot tolerate a whey protein concentrate. Now, most whey proteins on the market are no longer 100% concentrates. Most of them are blends of concentrate and isolate, and many people tolerate them okay, depending on you know it, how severe their lactose intolerance is. Obviously, you don't have a lactose intolerance, it's not a problem. Now, if you do have a lactose intolerance, a protein just like the one he was showing, which is a whey protein isolate, I'm pretty sure. I'm sorry, stop the press. He was showing a hydrolyzed whey protein. Wow, not, I thought it was a dumb argument if it was an isolate. But if it's hydrolyzed whey protein, his argument is literally one of the dumbest arguments I've ever seen. And I'll explain why here in a second. But I'm not done talking about isolates. So isolates have been filtered to have the vast majority of lactose removed. In fact, some of them have virtually no lactose and most of them are tolerated well by even people who are lactose intolerant. However, if you have a severe lactose intolerance, you might need to go a next step up, which we'll talk about in a minute. Now. There are some people who have sensitivities to the lactalbumins in whey. For those folks, a whey concentrate and a whey isolate probably won't cut it, which is why they have hydrolyzed, which is why they have hydrolyzed whey, which is what he's showing in this video. But I'm guessing he doesn't know that because otherwise he would have at least gone out and got a whey concentrate to show this video. My guess is he thinks whey protein is just whey protein and doesn't know any better. Hydrolyzed whey is actually whey that has been pre-digested. So it contains virtually no lactose and it chops up the lactalbumin so that almost anyone can tolerate a hydrolyzed whey. It's extremely hypoallergenic. Him saying that you're gonna get bloated from hydrolyzed whey is ridiculous. Maybe there's like a few people out there that have some crazy allergy that I've never heard of before, but this is literally one of the most hypoallergenic proteins out there. In fact, I'm not sure that there's a protein that has less side effects associated with it than hydrolyzed whey. As far as him saying, oh, I've never seen anybody not get leaner when they get, when they get off whey protein. Except we have all these studies showing that people who take whey protein get stronger, more lean body mass, and in some cases, drop body fat. So how's that working out for you? Oh wait, you're just operating based off your punk ass feelings. Well, on this channel, we don't fuck with feelings, we like data, which you can find in the description. Let's take his claim about it inflames the intestinal tract and makes it leaky. Once again, that's only a problem if you're having a whey concentrate 
and you're lactose intolerant, or you have a sensitivity to the lactalbumins and you're intolerant to those. Most people don't fall in those categories. Some people have minor lactose intolerances, again, which you can solve usually by having a whey isolate. And if that doesn't work, hydrolyzed whey, just like the one he's showing in his stupid video. As far as it making your periods painful, based on what? Did you have a painful period last month, Ken? I don't think it was because of the whey protein. That which can be asserted without evidence can be dismissed without evidence. I just want to go back one more time to the fact that he's using hydrolyzed whey, one of the most hypoallergenic proteins on the market, if not the most. All you had to do was go get a whey concentrate, and then you could have made just a small argument that would have been slightly less stupid. But you played yourself. Like it, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll catch you next week.